Hi, YouTube. We're back. It's Friday night. After hours. Fun stuff. Truck is about to shit the bed. A lot of fun stuff happens this weekend. JD's getting his clutch upgrade right now. Thankfully, uh, dealing with monster clutches has gone pretty painlessly. Pretty, pretty quick turnaround. Here they are. Working in the fucking dark because, you know, we don't have enough lights around here. Okay, somebody has a light. Hi, guys. Don't do that. This is Mackenzie shit. It's okay. I was about to say, what in the fuck did you get that from? So we gotta... Okay. That's on sale. We gotta pull the diff out. You can't see anything because it's dark. We need to get better lighting underneath here. Stop pointing that at me, thank you. This is Brad. Mm -hmm. Brad's dick. Ow! <laughs> Brad's face has to be <laughs> <That's sick. laughs> <Delicious>. <laughs> uh, As we said before, JD's car is a CD09 Nissan gearbox behind an LS. Uh, Monster clutches had no issue. Uh, they sent a. We did what? We did a, an F body, a fourth gen F body twin disc for up to a thousand. Thousand uh, horsepower and torque. Yeah. But one of these days, JD will blow that clutch to pieces. As long as it'll hold under boost, that's all that matters. My truck is sitting here. It's a long trip from the ramp truck to here. JD, pieces, customers. This is Lewis's motor. That's another story. Let's see about getting this thing in and out. Got a whole bunch of stuff. On this one, we went iron block, iron block six liter. Good piston, good rod. Wallmaster timing chain. Uh, high volume oil pump. Uh, we did do uh, square port heads because there's a lot more space in there. A lot more. For now, we are going to use this on three turbo kit. Hopefully Travis watches this because he waited forever to give me a price on an S475 rep that he had. But Travis, you're too expensive. I don't pay crackhead prices. I am a crackhead. But I'm not paying that price. Uh, as soon as we get done, uh, I am going to sell this on three kit. It's still 75 or 74 or whatever it is. A uh, little John Motorsports cam inside of this. It's done. Uh, and then we're going to put a Huron Speed Kit on. What do you think, Brad? Do a, a billet VS80? Yeah. Don't want to go don't want to go too large. Like we could. We have enough we have enough airflow through that motor. We could, but we want a stage 2 cam from Texas Speed. Thanks to those guys over there. Um but I think we want to stay reasonable with a four-wheel drive setup. You know, I'd like to be able to just get on it anytime and have to worry about it. So, I think an 80 will do it. A billet 80 would be nice. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm going to be depressed in a little bit, but stay tuned. It'll be fun. Thanks. Hi, we're back. I'll do a fancy edit. We didn't get very far. We ended up eating chicken wings from Wingstop. <laughs> Not feeling too hot. This is where we went. On three kid is off. Uh, I may have already changed my mind. I might just go ahead and sell the on 375 and the manifold and crossover and buy my VS Racing 80, maybe 85. I don't know. JD made progress. Brad made progress. JD and Brad made progress. I don't know if you can use it. You can't see shit in there. Here, how about this? Is this better? That's a little bit better. DC's your motor. Aluminum 5.3. In JD's car. It's stupid to do this without putting a rear main seal in it, especially once we see that it's leaking a little bit and we need to put a catch can on your car. Yep. Because I think that's what your problem is right now. God, this fanciness. All this fanciness. All this wiring is still in great shape. I don't want to show you the fuel lines because that sucks. Turn the camera the other way. There you go. Yeah. And then we noticed that JD has a little bit of a bushing issue on his rear diff. We are going to be welding his diff because a two-way for one of these cars is really expensive. Because apparently whenever you shop for SC300 stuff, you have to shop for Mark IV Supra stuff. Well, it's pretty much Supra, It's not pretty much a Supra, JD. List it up on Marketplace, JD. Pretty much a Supra. Pretty much a Supra for $5,500. But we'll get all this out. That's sketchy as shit. <laughs> Thanks for that, Brad. At least it stayed. 
We'll get all this done. JD's gonna finish what he's doing. I don't know why he's using an adjustable wrench to change his oil. Good idea. But yeah, here we are. Here we are. This is gonna be out. Anybody looking for an on three manifold? A turbo and a crossover. Keeping all the I'm keeping all the intercooler. It does have a crack here. It was fixed a couple times. He's cracking here. It's fine. It's a variable boost. Tuned on sixteen, ends up on eleven because of that. Thank you. It's in pretty good shape. I hate when people do this. Hey man, let me squeeze your turbo. Oh, there's a little bit. It's not touching up. Whatever. It still works. Tyson's truck. In my mess. <laughs> Anybody looking for a part time job? Want to clean up my shop? So we don't have time apparently. Yeah. Alright. Wish us luck. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Old and busted, new hotness. Old and busted, soon to be new and busted. Hi. This one's back in for now. I have to clean my shop. It's filthy. But <laughs> JD has a very, 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 very open differential. It's so open. It's so open. We'll change that. Stunts. Day 419. Motors in the truck. Accessories are going on the truck. Now I need to decide to do what to do with that. I don't want to touch it because my hands are stained. I kind of just want to leave it in the bag. But do I keep it aluminum or do I paint it? I like it bright. But at the same time, I don't really care. I don't know. By the time you see this, I've already made a choice that I regret. Or love. At least for now. And then I'll regret it later. Hmm. JD is uh, over there working on his car. Uh, we found out that somehow, even though everything was labeled correctly, the spline count on his clutch disc, on his twin disc clutch from Monster, is wrong. It's the T56 spline instead of a CD09 Nissan gearbox. So I'm sure it's just a little mix up. I hope the other person that received our clutch isn't wondering what the hell's going on. Hey, if you're out there, Hit us up. It might be easier for me just to send you what I've got and you send me what you got. But tomorrow we will come in. JD will put his diff in. That is now that Miller Matic locker. It was a it was a tungsten serviced differential now. Meaning it's just welded. We'll see. There's JD. Doing his thing. Taking pictures of the same shit, same shit he's already got pictures of. Noticing all of the leaks that are developing. I guess that's what happens when you have two turbos. Shit. Bust him. Ethan is over here washing my bracket. You can't see him. He's out there. He's super white. right over here. Right about there. Right there. But there he is. Now you see him. The fucking Yeti. Oh, he's touching his wiener. Watch it. Bust it again. Hey. Hey, dumbass. Uh-oh. I was going to say he was going to come. 
That's what paints for, right? Anyways, we'll continue tomorrow, and maybe we'll end up with a 36-minute video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. What's up, bitch? JD's gay. I can't say that. JD's happy.